for busting bunches of ferals, I'm talking about mobs of pigs or goats, you're gonna to wanna to use this in the Aussie scrub. Now there have been a number of reviews on this rifle already. This particular review was quite negative. I'm not gonna mention who did it. But in particular, the rifle they got their hands on is something that should be discussed openly. This is Australian manufacturing at its best. G'day guys, Simon Christie from 4 Drive TV. Now, as you guys know, I'm a mad, passionate 4 driver. How good is this for recreational off-roading? <laughs> but there are a number of other parallel pursuits that I enjoy from time to time that involve four-wheel driving and getting out in the great Australian outdoors. Now, one of those is shooting, and I am madly passionate about shooting itself. Now, today's a very special day. We're down here at the SSAA rifle range, and I've got something very, very special. This is a personalized Taipan Light from Southern Cross Small Arms. This rifle comes with a lot of political grunt. It's got some very interesting points about it and a lot of facts and myths that we want to discuss today. I'm looking forward to getting this out of the box and having a shoot. I've handled these Taipan lights before and they are an amazing rifle. The feel, the look, the manufacturing, the weight are just incredible. And this is a big revolution for shooters right here in Australia. And of course, guys, you've got to remember that this is manufactured in Sydney, Australia. This is Australian manufacturing at its best. Now, this one has been personalized for me. And whilst I have handled a number of Taipan lights before, this is the first time I'm actually getting to see my own personalized rifle in the flesh. So let's have a look what's in the box and see what I'm getting. Nicely boxed, as you can see, Southern Cross Small Arms there on the box, and a picture of the amazing Taipan Light. <laughs> oh, guys, that is just absolutely magic. Two 10 round magazines, the rifle itself, and as you can see, this is set up a tactical look, but it's actually a really practical format and platform for Australian shooters. Whether you're doing target shooting or hunting, this is the way of the future. It's not everyone's choice. Some like the walnut stock, but I'm definitely the tactical sort of person, and this is just nuts. And to have that come personalized with the full drive TV logo laser etched in there is just something next level. That is absolutely awesome. Guys, before we get this out of the box and have some fun, there are some really important points that I'd like to cover about this particular rifle. Now, I mentioned earlier on political aspects of this rifle. Now, we're in a state here in Australia where firearm owners, legal, law-abiding firearm owners are under attack. And there are some things in certain states called appearance laws, where if a rifle is black, tactical, or looks scary, it can be banned by the authorities as an illegal weapon. Even though it's the same calibre, the same capacity, the same configuration, as perfectly legal firearms that are just a different colour in some cases. This rifle from day one was going to suffer at the hands of those appearance laws and that would greatly limit the sales and potential for this, which is an Australian manufactured item. So what the owner of Southern Cross Small Arms did is he went back and forward multiple times with some of the people who decide the toughest appearance laws in the country and he was able to get this rifle approved in all states except Tasmania. So in my opinion, as a shooter, that is a massive political achievement and probably one of the biggest and best things that's been done for shooters in Australia in quite some time. So not only am I excited about having a personalized brand new firearm, but what this says to me is this is a fight back by legal law abiding firearm owners that even if it looks scary or tactical or what it may be, if it's just a different colour, it is no more dangerous, especially in the hands of law-abiding citizens. So that for me is a real important political statement and a massive achievement that Southern Cross Small Arms should be fully credited for. Being Australian made, looking like this, a pump action and a multiple formatted calibre, and I'll explain that shortly, this rifle has been hugely anticipated. 
So talking technically, the Taipan Light is a 223 Wild. What is a 223 Wild? Well, it's a rifle that has a slight variation in the chamber throat that allows it to be loaded with either 5.56 or 223 ammo. So that gives you the ability to access a variety of different ammunition. It's also got a one in eight barrel twist, which means it can certainly take some heavier loads and shoot accurately across a range of different projectiles. Now there have been a number of reviews on this rifle already, and one in particular needs to be brought up and discussed. So this particular review was quite negative on the Taipan Light, and it was quite disappointing to see that and hear the follow-up from potential consumers of their interpretation, their feelings towards the Taipan Light. So what I want to address is how that review came to be. Not the review itself, because the review was done by an experienced person who's very popular on YouTube, and they know what they're talking about but in particular, the rifle they got their hands on to do the review is something that should be discussed openly. So what happened, a third party, independent company, approached Southern Cross Small Arms, said, we love your rifle, we love the concept, we love what you're doing. We would like to produce an aftermarket performance trigger for the rifle. To do that, we'll need an example of your rifle. Can you send us one? Southern Cross Small Arms said, no problems at all. Because production has been so tight, because manufacturing in Australia is so hard, there were limited numbers of rifles available, and because the uptake has been so popular, there were no rifles at that time to send out to this third party operator. So a few pieces were picked up from the factory floor. Some rejects, some not working properly parts, some damaged parts, and put together just to assemble a basic rifle that could go out to this third party so they could design and manufacture an aftermarket trigger. This rifle was never intended for sale. It was a pre-prototype bits and pieces, an absolute mongrel thrown together just for the sake of being assessed for manufacturing of an aftermarket part. So that rifle went out to this third party. Now whether the third party decided that they would try and do something good or try and create an opportunity, they then passed that rifle on without the knowledge of Southern Cross Small Arms to this YouTube reviewer. So here's a guy, very popular on YouTube, who's been given a Taipan light to do a review. It's a pre-prototype, it's made of bits and pieces thrown together, never intended to be sold, shot, used at all, and he's reviewing that. So what do you think the review is going to be? The review is going to be that this rifle is an absolute pig and it's not suitable for use and it's got a number of problems. Well, that's just not the case because the Taipan, as you'll see today, cycles and shoots perfectly, and it is an amazing piece of awesomely engineered Australian manufacturing. And that's why I'm putting my name and my face behind this, and I'll be doing this review and long-term review so you guys know exactly how this and plenty of other Taipans perform. Now, we've also got another shooter here today, James, who's got another Taipan down there. And James will be doing a review for you as well. So what I'd like to ask you guys to do is to put aside previous reviews and let this rifle speak for itself. This is the full production rifle. I'm not gonna say there were no problems back in the early days when this first came to production because there were. And all of those issues and problems have been addressed. They've sold almost 3,000 of these rifles. So guys, there's plenty out there in the community and this one, is certainly ready to go. So let's get this sick little tactical buddy out of the box, get some ammo into it, and have a crack down the range. Now what's better than using an Australian made rifle? It's pumping it with Australian made ammunition. So today we're using Australian made ADI 223 Blitz Kings. They should do the job. Out of the box, this is light. Ergonomically pleasing, and it just wants to shoot. Okay, now keep in mind that these take the mag pull, standard mag, so they are high quality, they are reliable, very easy to get. Locked and loaded. To start with, we're not putting an optic on right now, I just want to feel how it shoots. Oh guys, that is smooth to cycle. And seriously, that is straight out of the box. No tricks, no special editing. That is as raw as it comes. 
No sights, no optics. I just want to get a feel for it. It's smooth. There's a little bit of punch in the recoil, but that's what you'd expect from such a light weapon. But that action just cycles beautifully. Absolutely awesome, guys. All right, let's get a bit more serious. We'll throw an optic on it and we'll put a few more rounds down the range. Awesome, just love it. By no stretch of anybody's imagination am I a bench rest shooter. But we're here at the range and we've got this puppy sighted in now. So let's have a crack down. We've got a target at 50, a target at 100. We're not looking for accuracy because that's not how I shoot, but we just want to get some rounds on paper, have a feel for how this cycles and just see how it goes. We'll put 50 or 60 rounds through it. We'll give it a crack. So just from that first magazine at the 50 meter mark, the thing I liked most there was the trigger actually. The pressure on the trigger is, is quite nice. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, and it's just the right amount of distance for a gentle squeeze. The rifle's cycling nicely, so let's try the 100 meter target. So what would you actually use a rifle like this for? Well, being tactical, it's, it's a fantastic thing to add to your collection. It just looks great. It cycles well, it shoots well. It's a great piece of Aussie made machinery. You might want to use it for target shooting, for sport shooting, etc. but realistically, you're going to want to use this in the Aussie scrub. It's a good length for hunting. It's a good length to use for a range of different hunting styles. And being tactical, you can obviously fit accessories to it. Something like a Boscobel bipod out the front there will go well. Some torches, a red dot laser maybe, a different range of scopes, some thermals. You could configure this in any way you'd like and there is plenty of space, room and Picatinny rail to add whatever you might need. But for busting bunches of ferals, and I'm talking about mobs of pigs or goats, this type of firearm with a fast action, it's fully legal on a CAT AB license and it is street legal, so to speak, in all states in Australia, except for Tassie. And fingers crossed that might change. But for my money, a great little piece of Aussie engineering that's perfect for some hunting. Let's keep going with it. So let's have a little bit of fun now and try some clay targets a little bit closer in. Well guys, I'll tell you that I am bloody stoked. This thing shoots like a dream. We've put probably 60, 70 rounds through it this morning and it has not missed a single beat. Took a little while to get it sighted in, but that's just me, I'm not such a crack shot. And it, it's just a lovely engineered piece of equipment. Shoots well, nice and smooth, good action. Once you've got it set up, it's accurate. Love the Crimson Trace scope too, that's a winner. So get down to your local gun shop. Get your hands on one of these and just feel the weight. Feel the engineering, have a look at the manufacturing.
top level stuff. From me, day one here with the Southern Cross Small Arms Type Hand Light. Thumbs up guys, it is an absolute winner. Check it out, you'll love it as much as I will and stay tuned, we'll have more reviews coming as I get to have a bit more fun with this. Catch you on the next one guys.